All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do basic color correction in Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna to try to do it in around about a minute. So let's get into the video. All right guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not, either way. Really appreciate you tuning in to this video. So this is another one of my really quick Premiere Pro tutorials. If you do enjoy it and find it useful, please do give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. And if you're not already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. I haven't really gone into color correction too much in any of my other tutorials, but today I am gonna show you the basics of color correction in Premiere Pro. So let's jump in, I'll put a minute on the clock. Not that I've ever really stuck to that, but it is nice to have something to aim for. And I'll show you how to do some basic color correction. Okay, so here we have my drone clip of the Cookney Haven in the UK. Really nice spot if you're ever in that area, definitely do check that out. And we're gonna do some basic color correction on this clip. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to these tabs at the top, and we're gonna click on color. And this will bring up our Lumetri color settings on the right hand side. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is try and get the white balance right. So if we use this little dibber, if we click on the dibber, and if we find something white in the image, so Obviously in this image, the clouds should be white. So if we click on one of the clouds, then there you go. We sort out the white balance. If you toggle on, a, on and off, you can see the colors are definitely more accurate than they were before. Okay, so that's the white balance sorted. Next thing you're gonna wanna look at is the exposure. So this makes the image darker or lighter. So if you go left, it goes dark, go right, it goes light. Now, this is what we're starting out at now. I think we could do with tweaking it a little bit bear in mind the more you boost the exposure the more you're going to degrade the image so you don't want to go too mad with it again if we toggle on and off that image is a little bit nicer now this is quite a flat image shot on my phantom 4 pro so i'm going to want to add a little bit of contrast in so the contrast is going to add more difference between the darks and the lights okay so i'm going to drag it all the way to the right and that's much better Okay, so now we've got our highlights, and this only really affects the light part of the clips. Obviously, if we raise it right up, then you can see all the highlights going up. We bring it down, bring the highlights down. Now, if we look at the clouds, they're a tiny bit blown out. They're not too bad, actually. It's quite a nice image as it is. But if I just bring these highlights down just a tad, it just makes those clouds look a whole lot better. And now we've got the shadows, which does the opposite. This just affects the darkest parts of the image. Now, the image as it is, it's pretty good. I'm gonna bring the shadows down a tiny bit, but they really are pretty good where they are, okay? Now the whites is similar to the highlights, but it only really affects the white part of the image. So if you bring that up and down, obviously you can see what it does to the image. The image is looking pretty good as it is, so I'm not gonna really mess with that at all. And the blacks just concentrates on the darkest part of the images and makes those even darker. So if you really wanted to bring those shadows out, bring the blacks right down and bring it down a tad and the last slider I'm going to show you is the saturation so this really just brings out the colors so if I move this saturation to the right you can see the greens getting greener the blues getting bluer you can go mad of it and that's what a lot of people tend to do but you just want to tweak it just a little bit just make the colors more natural okay and I'm happy with that so if I just click the color correction on and off, you can see the difference it's made to the image. So off, on, okay, much nicer image. Okay, and that's it, just touched on the basics of color correction there. I will go into it in a bit more depth in another video, but for now, this just shows you the basics of color correction in Premiere Pro. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, let me know if you found the video useful. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment, audio and visual gear reviews, editing tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials, tutorials, drone tutorials, all sorts of videos to help you with filmmaking. So it'd be really great to have some new faces on board. So please do hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, please do make sure notifications are turned on so I can let you know when new videos come out. So that's it for this one. Hope you found it useful. This should get you started in terms of color correction. So I'll catch you in the next one.